بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپوریٹ گورننس اینڈ وی ور ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دی اکنامک پالیسیز آف اے گورنمنٹ اینڈ اگین ہاؤ دے آر برجڈ ود بزنس آف دا کارپوریٹ سیکٹر ناؤ اگین وی ٹاک اباؤٹ دی امپارٹنس آف دا مانیٹری پالیسی اینڈ وی ٹاک اباؤٹ دی ادر فزیکل پالیسی اینڈ ہاؤ دے کمپلیمنٹ ایچ ادر ٹوڈے وی گو نو ٹاک اباؤٹ فزیکل کنٹرولس بائی دا گورنمنٹ اینڈ کاسٹ آف پالیسی بوتھ ویری ریلیونٹ ٹو Uh, policies uh, and uh, again the economic context of governance and corporate governance both uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, when we are talking about physical costs then in these physical costs what we see is is that they refer to various financial and commercial initiatives of the government to supplement the monetary and fiscal policies and secondly what we see is that whenever there is a period of low economic growth the controls on production consumption trade and foreign exchange become necessary so what we see is is that the government basically is a catalyzer is basically an impetus is basically an initiator of the economy as a whole when the economy tends to slow down or tends to churn uh, towards a lower grade it becomes very important for the government through its various policies and through its various cost structures that it tends to remobilize the economy so that there is lesser inflation there is uh, more Uh, more employment and most importantly uh, there is uh, a lesser uh, outflow of resources which is taking place now that becomes extremely necessary and what we see it it is done through controlling production either facilitating it or limiting it it comes uh, through uh, various uh, consumption trends which the government tends to promote through its different policies and also uh, through foreign exchange uh, again initiatives which Uh, are applied whenever necessary so all of these uh, become extremely important in the government context and therefore the government has to intervene both positively or negatively the controls uh, get relaxed when they are not so needed during periods of faster economic growth so definitely the government would lesser it controls let the economy go at its own pace and its own speed because there are more returns there is more cash flow there is more employment uh, there are there is higher per capita income Uh, there is a higher gdp which is emerging the balance of payments is done in a better way so why should there be any controls and that and that definitely again means that uh, when we are talking about the tightening of the economy then it becomes superfluous because uh, at that particular point uh, why should the government intervene when everything is going good so therefore the government intervention tends to minimize so that is how we see that the government uh, tends to either control or catalyze or mobilize now when we are talking about the justification for government regulations then it could be market failure it could be the failure of a particular sector it could be the failure of the market as a whole it could be various foreign implications uh, which uh, which are there it could be different consumer trends uh, it could be uh, an override of a certain uh, particular aspect uh, of the economy so all of these things are there it could be economic or it could be ethical failure there could be rampant corruption which is taking place that has to be controlled Uh, there could be uh, other value degradation which is there and therefore the government again has to uh, mobilize itself we see that there could be stakeholder demands that the that the stakeholders the consumer the citizen or a particular sector is uh, pressing for certain uh, regulation so that also becomes necessary and sometimes the government also has to give subsidies just like uh, it has been given subsidy on electricity uh, cost for consumers in pakistan it has been given subsidy on petrol Uh, uh products also in pakistan it has been giving subsidy on food items also so again uh, sometimes uh, we see that the government has to subsidize something uh, there could be a public reaction towards something and that is when it has to be done it has been seen in the automobile industry when the cost of automobiles or what we call on becomes so high that the government uh, tends to uh, then reduce it through different interventions and that is the public reaction which is taking place or there could be political advocacy and therefore through the parliament different changes could be uh, basically uh, uh, brought in whereby there would be a betterment uh, of the economy as a whole so those are the different justifications whereby the government tends to intervene directly or indirectly at improving the state of the economy there are different type of government regulations there could be industry specific whereby we have seen that different industries are given impetus in each budget of the government uh, sometimes the automobile industry we've seen that for the past 5 years that was given a lot of but previously it was the power generation one we saw a lot of new uh, independent power producers basically emerging it could be industry wide 
uh, it could be across the board uh, whereby uh, different fiscal or monetary benefits uh, could be given uh, to uh, the different industries. It could be more functional in context whereby uh, cost of doing business could be brought down, whereby uh, we see that controls could be brought down, whereby license could be eliminated with and whereby the different uh, industries or sectors could be opened up in a better way. And then again, the government also plays a role as a media attention or as a media disseminator so that people become more aware of what is happening. It can be done uh, through different interventions just like uh, providing uh, loans uh, or providing uh, grants uh, uh, through the Benazir Income Support Program. Uh, it could be uh, a one-time grant whereby uh, because of COVID, the government might uh, just uh, hand out uh, some amount uh, to everyone or to a particular sector of society also uh, or towards a particular segment of society. So all of these things uh, are how uh, the government uh, tends to, uh, how the government tends to facilitate the whole process uh, of its uh, different regulations uh, and other aspects of governance. We also see the different type of costs uh, could be administrative or compliance costs. It could be paperwork, higher prices and taxes. It could be opportunity costs. It could be unintended impacts of regulation and also economic and social trade-offs. So these are very important. And, and what we see is that these, these trade-offs uh, is a new term which, which, which we're going to talk about is that, that through these different social trade-offs that uh, definitely uh, sometimes to gain something, you also might be losing something. So say, there could be a particular uh, social trade-off or there could be a particular uh, social, or there could be a particular economic trade-off. So uh, what we basically see is, is that uh, through these different costs, the government uh, tends to uh, further improve the economy at large. And if there are any negative factors, it tends to bring in those controls uh, and also tends to uh, take many initiatives and interventions whereby there is more stabilization of the economy and all of the benefits uh, bas basically trickle down to the common man at large. Thank you so much.